commencing days of transfer. Did it work? Are we... Oh. It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. Oh, I want that. I want that so bad. <laughs> Whoa. This side of 4546B just has super storms all the time. I'll poke my head above the waterline every now and again just to see what like the penglings are doing and stuff like that. Wait, let me show you guys. There's like, yeah, these things over here. I'll just poke my head above the water just to see what they're doing, see if they're just hanging around. And they more than likely will be. Yeah, there they are. Look at that. The silhouette's just coming into frame. But this place is so, so dangerous. But guys, Welcome back to some more Below Zero. I'm so happy that we're back. I'm really having a blast with this. In the previous episode, though, just to quickly recap, it took us on an adventure to try and find where Marguerite was hiding. And then when we discovered that, she basically gave us some information about Salmon, that she's worried about the Kara virus because of what it did to the planet. And nobody really taken her that serious. So Marguerite then kind of hints towards this Leviathan that she's been mentioning. And saying, well, maybe you should do something about it. And I think that's where we're up to right now. Obviously not mentioning the fact that we made the prawn suit. We made the sea truck. Some of you guys have mentioned this as well. Because we found a, uh, a blueprint fragment for, I think it's called the snow fox. Saying that there are problems with that. Like when you kind of hover across the ice, which I obviously knew that's what it was for anyway. But to maybe use this instead, which we might actually do. But either way, what we're doing, at least straight off the rip is we're going to be making a couple of upgrades. Oh, I forgot to make the enamel glass. All right, we can do that. Shouldn't be too much of an issue. But we are going to be making a couple of upgrades. First up is going to be the storage module. And I've been saying to you guys that I do want to make Angel, these. Weather approaching. All right. Seek shelter. Let's get below the water line. I'm really not entirely sure how I'm going to attach this. I'm hoping it kind of floats here so I can just connect it. You know what? Oh, there we go. Okay, it did. I was a little bit worried then that it would just go slamming onto the uh, onto the ocean floor, but no, we're good. And it looks exactly like it did in that poster too. So, how do I go about connecting this thing then? Oh! Oh! Well, that's beautiful. <laughs> I got lockers as well. So, plasteel ingot, computer chip, and lead. Lead actually took me the longest to find. I needed lithium too, but lead was actually a real pain to find. I can find it around all these areas, but I kind of just stumbled across it more than anything. And yet again, this thing really didn't help all that much. But either way, we got it. That's the main thing. We've got another module too. Is this one any different? No, I don't think it is. These things are going to look so cool as well when we eventually... I don't actually know if I want to change the color of it. Yeah, I do like the color of how it is. Like I've said before, it's got that, like, old-school space-age vibe to it, and I really, really like that a lot. So how do I do this, then? Do I just got to reverse this one in, too? And then back her up. Oh, there we go. Smooth. So now, oh, it just it automatically opens the, uh, the sections, then. And we've got a fabricator here. Oh, this is so good now. Oh, we only needed one. Okay, I thought we needed two, so I already have it. So basic materials and then a steel ingot. So that should be everything now. And then I believe we make this over at the modif- No, we don't. We make it here. It's under this. Yeah, sea truck upgrades. There we go. Right, so we've got the upgrade now. I need to know what depth that actually takes us down to. What was the other stuff on there? Perimeter defense, we've got that. Sea truck horsepower upgrade. Ooh. Storage module. Oh, I might need to make that too. Yeah, I might need to make that, especially if I'm going to be using it a lot more. Probably even for power cells or something. All right, where's my uh, my sea truck then? Right, let's go over here. And now I've got to attach the upgrade to this, which I don't remember. Is it this one here? There we go. Okay, so 300 meters now. Oh my god, that's such a big jump. Okay, right. So before we set off out there then... 
And I guess start discovering a lot more of the uh, the pings that we've got. Because I've got a few more that have been detected by Alan. I'm just going to make sure that I've got everything. And I'll see you guys in a couple of minutes. Okay, so we are back in the sea truck now. And I can confirm my suspicions about this thing moving a little bit more stiff when you attach the modules onto it is absolutely the case. Which I love that about it. It, it shouldn't be nimble. When you put modules onto the back of this thing, it should act like a truck, and it definitely does. Or at least what I imagine a truck would move like underwater. But I do want to say a huge thank you to everybody that has been leaving comments. Not only for leaving kind words about the episodes that you've been enjoying them, but the simple fact that you've just not been spoiling it. I think you guys can see that when I'm kind of invested into a series, I really, really go like all in on it. And if someone was to spoil that, it really, really obviously would just suck the fun out of it. And you guys never do that. So thank you all so, so much. But yeah, this adventure so far, I've really, really enjoyed it. It's hard to say whether or not I enjoy it more than the first one right now because they're two completely different stories. Obviously with a couple of similarities, but yeah, I'm really having a blast with it. Right, let's see if we can go a little bit further down. We're obviously past the 150 right now. Ooh, okay, careful, careful. There's death everywhere here. Okay, that's a little bit too tight around there. Oh, there we go. I'm, I'm already crashing it. No! Oh, I will let you guys know as well, there is a massive creature, like, somewhere around this spot. It's red and it's huge. I did want to come back to this area anyway, because a lot of you guys were saying there are fragments around that ship, which I believe is called the Mercury 2. If I'm not mistaken. That massive vessel. Oh! These things as well. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait there, big guy. Wait there. One of you guys told me there's something that I can do with this. Wait, wait. Come here. If I go up to it... Oh, please don't eat me now. Glow whale. Oh, please. Just stay there a second. Apparently, there's this really cool thing you can do. And then... In oh, there it is! Interact! <laughs> That's so cool. Just staring into a giant size like that. Okay, is this a new area then that we've not been to before? You can clearly see there's something down there, an artifact. That's what I was telling you guys about. I don't know if you can quite make that out, but it's there. Oh, you know what? Let's get close to it. Watch the size of this thing. Oh, wait, that's different. Oh, no, it's not. It is the red one. Back up. Oh, no. Oh, my God. No, no, no. Back up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Warning. Maximum depth reached. High damage imminent. Okay. I upgraded the, uh, the O2 tanks that we have. I believe I'm on the ultra ones now that we found. What's that? And I, I also got this as well, the thermal knife. A lot of you guys were telling me to get that. It was going to help. Oh, Ruby, okay. Yeah, no, we'll hold on to that. I can store this that in the... Artifact could provide useful information. Processing. I can visualize a location where we may find an important component for my body. The image is hazy, but I am sure it is correct. A stark surface landscape. Dangerously cold. Curved spires stretch to the sky. Hmm. Okay. So, another artifact. Alan's saying another location where we can find, I guess, other positions to find more more parts for his body then. New technology acquired. Okay, let's see what he wants. How do humans cope with the loss of memories? Like forgetting someone's birthday? I don't know. It just happens. When you die, some quantity of knowledge is lost forever to the next generation. Isn't it? <laughs> Warning you, if you call humanity inefficient one more time, I will swim us both into the mouth of the Leviathan. Is that sarcasm? I am still having trouble differentiating. How inefficient? Efficiency aside, does the loss of knowledge not create complications? Well, on a personal level, losing someone can be traumatic. But it's harder to process the idea of generational knowledge. Humans aren't networked, so we can't even be aware of what we're losing moment by moment. 
We try to learn from history. Maybe it's not ideal, but it's what we have. What happens when you no longer have the memories of others to combine with your own? You make your own memories and interpretations. You have to experience life as an autonomous being. Discover yourself. That idea is foreign to me. What is this area? If you're wondering where I am right now, I'm right next to that massive ship that you guys were telling me was... Maximum depth reached. It was called the uh, Mercury 2. I've really got to watch the hell for this thing now. You can see that. He's sparking away. Ooh, I don't like that sound. No, 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 no. That, that freaked me out a little bit. Yeah, around this area is where you guys were saying... I can find some cool stuff. Oh, why does that sound like something laughing? Oh, there it is. Look, the Mercury 2. <laughs> okay, yeah. I didn't see that. This mega ship. I love that. I really, really do. So incredibly cool. All right. I'm going to spend a couple of minutes around this area then. See if I can find anything. I think it's probably a good idea, though, if I head back and try and get that repair tool. Because I'm definitely going to need it. What is this? Okay, so we've just got back from repairing everything. Vent garden harvests geothermal energy to nurture the life that grows within. Vent garden. Right, hold on. I want to get a little bit lower here. I don't want to hit the back of that, though. This is that area that was next to the Mercury 2. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. i got to go and scan that thing, though. There's so many, like, different recipes that I need. I kind of have to scan things. At least at this point. <laughs> Obviously, I'm going to get my head eaten by this thing, but... Tornado plates. Look at that. There's new fish and everything there. Tree spire. Is this just one big version of what we've seen before? No, that looks a little bit different. Oh, wait. What's... Th Oh, wait. Is temperatures detected in mineral rich fissure below. Is it feeding off of this? I think it is. This massive creature is just surrounding this vent and then it, it's it's growing something inside of it. Wait, is that right? Okay, let's scan it. I thought it was the the same thing as what we saw before. Oh, I don't like that. Hey, have a look around. Okay, it's over there. Yeah, it's like just sucking up all the juices. Wait, can you get in there? Oh, that's so weird. Oh, you can! Oh, that's so weird! Oh, and there's that massive creature. Look at this! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Is it going for that thing down there? Oh, yeah, it is. Look. This is so sick! What we got here then? Spiral plant? Oh wait, I needed this! Yeah, I needed this for an upgrade! Wait, how do I get that then? Did I get it? Yes, this is what I needed! Okay, nice. Give me more of that. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna get a whole bunch of it. I don't know how much I need, so oh, inventory's full, of course. Can I drop that? Drop that. I'm going to get rid of the titanium as well. Let's get all of this that we can. I really don't want to hurt this thing, though. Like, this is such a cool find. I don't know what this stuff does either. I'm a little bit worried that that creature can actually kill this or, like, burst it or something. Super aggressive as well. Okay, I'm getting a little bit low on oxygen, so let's be aware of that. All right, time to go. I could literally stare at this stuff all day. I'm probably going to be back, so I, I guess I can have a look at my own time. At least I discovered it with you guys, but where's my sea truck? Oh, no, it abandoned me. Where's it gone? There it is. Go, 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 go. Look how far down you can go past this point. What? All right, I'm going to get some oxygen. I'm going to see how far down we can go. I think that's going to destroy me if I get close to it, so I'm just trying to keep a... Decent distance away from it. Okay, diamond. What are you? You're, you're Uranonite? 
Okay, I'm grabbing that. I don't think I've seen what that is. I know I need Kyanite, which might be a way of making it out of that. I haven't seen that yet, though. These are all things to fabricate things like the cold suit that we found and other stuff as well. Ooh, I'm not going to die if I go across this vent right... What's that? I don't recognize what that is. Oh! There's stuff down there. Oh, this is such an incredible... Oh, wow! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, stay to the side. What we got? Oh, these are all bioreactors. Thermal plant fragment. Which we've already got. What's this? Another data box. A booster tank. New blueprint synthesized. Okay. This is all busted open. There's a PDA there. There I was. 500 meters below sea level. Chunks of the sea base sank around me. One hand gripped the monster scales. The other was clamped around the shard of metal I'd lodged into her eye socket. <gasps> a reaper. Wounded, maybe, but still deadly. I'd already taken out one eye. I damn near carved out the other. We were headed for the void at the crater's edge. Blinded, she was spiraling deeper. I had a choice. Hold on, or let go. I clung for dear life as she took us deeper. I had one minute of air in the tank. Back then, I could go another three with what I had in my lungs. So I had four minutes to kill the Reaper, minus a few to get back to the surface. <laughs> it ain't that I like killing folk. It's just sometimes what you need is on the inside of someone else's rib cage. I killed that beautiful, terrifying creature and I made for the surface. When I caught my breath, I realized we'd come further than I thought. I was surrounded by watery void, just me and ocean, nothing else. Marguerite is so badass. So that's what happened with that Reaper that she took out. You guys remember that from the school that we found in a base? That's so cool. And we would have never have found that if I didn't kind of dice with death a little bit and see how deep down that goes. Was it this? Oh, it was this! Okay, so this is what I was missing. High strength synthetic fiber. It was ruby along with spiral plant clipping. So it makes sense, seeing as though we ventured a little bit further than where we were, that's why I found it now. Okay, that makes, yeah, that, that kind of fits everything into place now. So, I needed that I think for upgrades, but what did I need for the cold suit? Let's see. It was on equipment and then Oh, it was the snow stalker fur. I don't know how to get that yet. I mean, I'm guessing that I have to take out a snow stalker, but I don't know how. I don't really have anything. I've made the, um, was it the propulsion or repulsion? Let me see. It's the propulsion cannon. But I don't know if that'll do anything to them. Those things are massive. That really only keeps away, like, the smaller fish and stuff. So maybe something from the prawn suit that can fight them back. Maybe the drilling arm that I've already made. All right, guys, so I made my way back to our temporary home just because I've been out there for so long and there's just no luck me finding anything that resembles any kind of dock for the sea truck, at least where I'm looking right now or, or where I've been looking. The only thing I've really found is the aquarium module, and I've just done a little bit of reading up there at the mobile vehicle bay, and it says it's literally to put things into it, just like a normal aquarium, so I don't think I'm going to bother making that yet. What I do need to get, though, is some... Oh, I don't have any lead. Oh, no. Wait, no one there. Let's get a couple of diamond, too. Is that the only lead that we have? Oh, that's right. I used a load of it to, to build those modules. All right, let's see if we've got enough, though. Because I found out what I want to make. It's basically this thing here, the Mark II upgrade. And I've got to make the enamel glass in order to do that. So I think we can do that now. If not, it's just going to take me a couple of minutes to find some lead. But I think we might have enough. Oh, no, wait. I've got to grab the, uh, the upgrade, too, right? So if we go in here... Then we grab this. And now we go back inside. I know I've got a fabricator in there, but this is just kind of routine now because I've been building here for so long when I'm back at this spot. So, enamel glass. Nice. Okay, that should be everything that we need then. So, for the Mark III, though, I'm going to need nickel ore and kyanite. And for the prawn suit Mark II, I need kyanite. Okay, so it's nickel ore and kyanite that we need. Got it. 
I'll have to remember that, right? Have I got a load of crap on me right now? I do. But let me just throw this into the sea truck and find out what kind of depth we're getting. Now, we've only just upgraded to the 300 as well, which was really, really nice. If we put that into there now, 650 meters. Okay, yes. That will definitely do us. Okay, so this is what you guys told me to do. It's better to come over here and then, oh, so you can place it anywhere then. So it doesn't need like a platform or anything. So throw the pad down there. And even if this thing is a piece of crap, I'm not too worried about it because obviously we've not played on it yet. So we need two magnetite, lubricant, and titanium. Okay, that shouldn't be too hard to get. And the, uh, the temporary home isn't too far away. Look, it's just in that direction. So yeah, then we can make a hover bike with it. Right, let's go over here for a second. So I think we've got everything then. Oh, I'm gonna have to break this out with the torch. Might have been a bad idea coming here at night time, but we're doing it now. So, what do we need again? It was this. And construct. Oh, look at this! Like a futuristic 3D printer. Okay, so far, so good. We're okay. I'm really happy about the fact we're not losing temperature on this thing, which I thought was 100% something that was going to happen. So that's the main area that we scoped out last time. Can we go straight down here? Oh, yeah, we can. So the landing pad. Didn't we check this out? I'm just have a little look around. I think we checked it out, though. Pick up the beacon? Yeah, absolutely pick up the beacon. If I find anything, I can throw that down. I should make more of them, to be honest, because there's a few areas that I do want to circle back to as well. And I know that I've forgotten them now. What else is down there? Nothing? Okay, yeah, no, we're just doing a quick scan. I know the stalkers are around there, so <laughs> we'll see what can happen. I really am not holding hope out that I can take one of those things down, but we'll see. So there was like a cave here and then to the left. So if we go this way, yeah, it kind of takes us in there. Or was it that way? No, oh, I think it might have been inside of this. Although, <laughs> that terrain. Yeah, no. Ooh, let's stay here. Bones everywhere. I want to go in there. Ooh, careful now. Snug fit, but we're good. I'm disturbing everything. I got a med kit if we need it. Come on, turn. Oh, this thing is weird. This thing is so, so weird to turn. Come on. Turn this way. Come on, please. Oh, turn. Oh, thank you. Oh, go, go, go. Oh, it really hasn't got a lot of speed. You know what, though? I, I really need to know if I can kill that thing. What about hitting the snow stalker? No, nope, that definitely didn't do it. What about one of these? Oh, no. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, nice. Can I... Can I get your fur, though? I don't really have anything else that I can... Let's <laughs> swap that out for this, I guess. No, we can't do that. Oh, no. How am I going to get your fur? Oh, my God. What just happened? Oh, my God. That scared me so bad. Oh. Turn around. Oh. Wait. Oh. Okay, I see that light there. What was that? Is this just going to be a pass through or... Is this what we're looking for? No, I think this is looking like a pass through right now. Oh, maybe not. Parvan. I've seen that name mentioned before. Did the person who worked here also live in storage? If you're not cheating, then you won't mind if I record this conversation. Is that right? I have nothing to hide. Then what were you whispering about with Vin? Nothing. That guy is so lawful good, it's annoying. Wait, so you were trying to cheat. But no cheating occurred, so what does it matter? 
It matters to team morale. If you can cheat in the game, how can they trust you out there? I'm sorry, did you feel left out? Perhaps you would like to make a deal. Ugh, Parvin, no. You're shameless. You really never give up, do you? I don't. That's true. <laughs> Have a manual put that in my next eval. Very persistent. What happened here? I sense many things here. Death, my Oh! There it is. That's the Leviathan that they've been talking about. I saw that on the CCTV thing in there. And I had a clue that this guy would be close by. Look at that. What? That's so cool looking. And there's the Karar on it too. Yeah, that's what we saw. This was Sam's necklace. She never took it off. Oh, no. My investigation of the fire excavation site including the cave entrance and surrounding area, revealed minor cosmetic damage to Altera survey equipment and significant structural damage to the natural cave entrance and supports. Resulting debris prevents cave access without heavy excavation equipment. Only foot access is currently possible. We are reporting two casualties, Pavan Ivanov, and Samantha Ayu. Oh, no. Both bodies were found beneath the rubble at the cave entrance. Ivanov had just entered the cave. The prints were still visible by the entrance. Deeper into the cave, Ayu appeared to have sustained a fall. Poor souls. What was Ayu doing? Nothing in her file suggests a history of vandalism or carelessness. And yet... I can only conclude that the cause of the collapse was employee negligence. Hmm. We will need to investigate a possible connection to the explosive damage reported at Omega Lab. If there is a connection, who is responsible? Patrol log, excavation site, day 33, morning. I thought I saw something moving on the screen, but it was just that I sneezed. Wiped it off. Fred's not convinced the Leviathan is really dead, but I've never even seen it blink. Nevertheless, I am now undertaking the mandatory foot patrol. No way. Inside the cave, confirming a whole lot of nothing. Creatures still dead, cave still boring. I miss the mining site. At least you could talk to people. Oh, wait now, what's this? A rock! I found an interesting rock. That makes three this week. The others will be happy to have a friend. Concluding patrol. Perimeter secured. Nothing to report. End log. Oh, spy pangling fragment. Wait, we already got that though, right? So Fred thinks that this thing is still alive then. Oh, I really hope that that thing is alive. How did it get in the ice, though, too? How old is this thing? So many questions. Oh, we can go in here, too. I've got to make space for stuff as well. Like, I keep eating things, but I'm going to have to slow down on doing that. Oh, look at that. My necklace that belonged to Sam. I may have to get rid of things like the poster or something, or even the lube, but I definitely want some of the stuff to take with me here. Oh, there's its hand. No, this thing has got to be alive. It has to be. Hydrochloric acid. We can make that now, too. We've got all the stuff to uh, to be able to do that with it. Wait. Frozen creature's claws. Oh, we're going to find out about this thing. Claws evolved to retain traction on the ice. So this thing was, at one point, the dominant apex species around here. Or creature, I guess. Oh, I'd love to know more about this. This is so cool. All this business. Stand by. Insert sample. Requires injectable container to function. Okay. So we gotta put something in that then. I'm trying to think back. Have we found anything for that? Can we scan this? Oh, there we go. Come on, tell us something about this thing. Look at that beast. Oh, I really hope this thing isn't just frozen and that's it. Lots of room for a brain, but it's mostly bone and fat. 
I would love for it to give some kind of like readout on the PDA, like a 3D model scan and like its habits and things. Oh, that would be so good. Yeah, look at this. Infected pustules. Environmental conditions and subtle mutations suggest that this variant of the Kara bacterium's rate of transmission is somewhat lower than that of the widespread outbreak previously on 4546B. Okay, so it's different then. We found this thing buried in the glacier. Gave somewhat a hell of a fright. Turns out it was walking around a thousand years ago when it fell through the ice. Okay, so that answers my question. It was infected with Kara bacterium. The aggressive disease which wiped out the architects and almost life on the planet. It's unclear whether the mutated Kara pustules present are responsible for the ultimate demise of the creature. Since the enzyme cure was released on 4546B, the bacterium has all been eliminated. Rare specimens like these provide our only live source. Research on the bacterium has been transferred to the Secure Omega Laboratory while further research on the creature will be conducted at the excavation site. Hello? Someone there? Oh, no. Samantha? Is that you? Oh, yeah. Told you I was investigating. <laughs> Don't worry about me. I'm on my way out. You can't keep doing this. We have protocols. Parvin, stand back. Don't come any closer. Why? Oh, no. What are you up to? Harvin, I mean it. Stop. I... Oh, no. That's what happened then. I thought it was weird how the two of them were found down here, but that explains it. I missed that one on the way in. Okay. So I'm not entirely sure what I've got to do here. I know a lot of you guys were giving me heads up about using the... Um, this thing, the spy pengling. So, I mean, I'll have a look through the comments and see what you guys are saying. If not, I'm going to return back home to the temporary base and see if we can find more of the architect's clues. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay, so you guys have told me that I need to control this. And I've had a look around. Over there, there was a cave, which I thought was the way to go. But it was actually a stalker in there with two babies. And then I actually came out this way and saw this. So... I guess this is the way to go. Ooh. Okay, ooh, that vision thing is messing with my mind. Okay, I don't mess around with that. This was just outside the tunnel. I tried to get in here, but I couldn't. So let's just slowly go this way. <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, there it is. Sam must have stashed this here. That's why we needed to make the uh, the spy pangling. Got it. So now... We can put that in there. Is it ready now? We put the antidote in. Here we go. Begin injection. Ooh. I don't know if I want to get too close to this, but I do want to see what's... Oh, in oh. the antibacterial agent was effective. Without it, the bacteria could have spread. Now it cannot. Your sister's memory will live in you through this gesture. It feels good. Doing this one last thing for Sam. I feel like I got some closure. My people do not experience endings as you do. Do humans feel joy in realizing that you've reached the end of something? Sometimes. Closure is a sense of resolution. Like, knowing that even though it still hurts, it'll be okay. I did what I came to do. I found out what really happened to her, and I got to finish her work. I learned a little bit more about the person I've looked up to for, well, my whole life. Aww. I wish I told her that more. Sam always wanted to make a difference. She wanted the bacteria contained to keep everyone safe. I'm grateful to give her that. I just wish I could have said goodbye. So she did it. She was able to 
make an antidote that reverse the effects of the Kara bacteria. Can we get down. Is that where we were before? I think it is, yeah. That's so cool. Even though Sam's gone, she did something massive here, right? She was able to come up with that antidote. And it's so sad, like she just said then, I was never able to say goodbye. But we continue to work for her. And I'm sure she'd be really, really proud of us. I really hope we get to see that thing again. I really, really do. What a cool, cool creature. Even if it is just there to paint the picture of something being there, like this massive thing from a thousand years ago. And then obviously interacting with the Kara bacterium that's changed since we last knew what it was and what it did. I love that. Okay, guys, so <laughs> it's been, I'd say, about two to maybe even three hours since I last spoke to you guys, and it's for very good reason. I've been doing stuff around the base, just collecting the basic things that I need just to survive. And then I ventured out looking for nickel and kyanite. Now, you guys will know from what we've done so far, there's been no mention of either of those resources. So I was searching blind. I didn't know where to look. I was literally scouring everywhere. I was using this thing to try and give me an indicator of where to find it. Of course, it pings now. Where is this stuff? Is that it there? There we go. Some more nickel. But I was using this thing and I was never getting a hit. It didn't matter where I went. I obviously didn't go this far out, but I was getting no hits. It turns out it's in this cave. When you're going down to see Marguerite and then even further down, you can find Kyanite apparently, but there was no way I would have just stumbled across that. So I did have to do a little bit of digging in order to find it. I've collected a little bit, which I think will be enough. It looks just like this. Here, I'll show you guys. It's kind of similar to the copper and gold. It's just got that weird like hue to it. But either way, we have got some now. I'm actually going to take that back just because if anything happens down there, I don't want to lose it. It's taken me a long time to get this. But yeah, these are just the caves that you go down to find Marguerite's hideout down there. And apparently that's where we found the Kyanite too. So I'll show you all what I've been collecting so far. But this has taken, guys, so incredibly long. You guys know me. I don't like searching things up. I love like the, even if it's difficult, trying to work out how to do it. Unless I'm really backed into a corner, then I'll need help. Obviously, like... Trying to find a resource in something this big is going to take me so, so incredibly long. So, yeah, we just searched it up, found out where it was, but we've got it now. So, this is what we first found. And I think I'm actually running out of space. But I was using this as well. Yeah, let's just throw this in there, this in there. And I think we've got everything. I will need to take another battery there. And I think we're good. Oh, I made the quantum locker as well. It's just a little bit of extra storage. It's actually really, really cool. I'll show you guys what it looks like just in case you haven't ever seen it. Let's go out here real quick and then throw this out. Look at that. And I believe it connects somehow to the other lockers, but yeah, I've just been using it for the odd thing that I need to throw in there. So yeah, just in case I've needed to pick anything up and I didn't have the space, I've got it now. So let me grab some air. And I believe we got to go even further down now. Can I sneak the uh, the sea truck through there? I'm going to try and get it in like as close to the area that we need to be as possible because... I've got a feel I'm going to be using a lot of oxygen going through this, so easy does it. I think we can get through here, and then maybe, ooh, and then maybe down the second section. Yeah, down here to the right. If you ever get confused in here, by the way, just follow these things where you get the oxygen from. It tends to point you in the right direction, then you'll come across the uh, the lights. These things down there. It basically shows you the way. I don't actually know if I could get this thing all the way down. I've got the 650 depth now, so maybe? Can we squeeze through that? Okay, only just. <laughs> I think after this section, though, we should be in the clear. Yeah, I don't know why I didn't think about doing this before. Bringing this down is way easier. Nice. So this is Marguerite's base, and apparently down this area is where I'll find the Kyanite. But again, there's been no mention of it, so we'll have to have a look. Okay, it goes even ooh, goes even deeper down into these sections. Is that a big opening? Yeah, this might take a little bit of exploring to find where we got to go here. I'm 400 down right now. What have we got there? Is that the thermal stuff? Like thermal plant? That's lithium. 
I'm just gonna. Ooh, I hate that sound. What is that? Okay, we got some new creatures. Let's go have a look. I'm gonna have to go out this way. I always angle it up like that or down. What are you? Come here, you little weird thing. A discus fish. Nice. Yeah, more lithium. And I don't think... I see anywhere where it looks like that kyanite stuff. I got this, right? Yeah, I already got this one. Okay, that is really, really weird. The kyanite isn't picking up on the mineral detector. So maybe it's something we haven't even discovered yet that we're going to... Ooh, what's that over there? Is that pengling? I think it is. Spy pengling. Okay, right, let's go out here. Oh, it's going to be down there, isn't it? Look how deep that is. Anything? No. Got something there. Water filtration suit. Okay, we'll take that. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go... Look out, yeah, that's so far down. All right, we'll get as far as we possibly can with the uh, the sea truck. Because I think I've got a couple of hundred meters to spare. Yeah, we're 400 down now, so let's just do that. And we'll see where it takes us. Oh, okay. Wait, I saw what might have been precursor stuff there. What in the hell is that? Is that kyanite? I've definitely not seen that before. Whoa! Large crystal formation. What are you? Red featherfish. Okay, can I eat you guys? gonna hold on to you just in case I can because I'm new creature discovered getting hungry now this isn't what we're looking for though this is like morganite or something super pretty but yeah not what we're looking for all right we got to keep going then oh it goes even deeper there what proceed with caution a leviathan class creature is near proceed with caution there is a leviathan class creature just gonna have a look down here, see if there's anything new. No, that's quartz. Lithium. Yeah, no, okay. Oh, there it is! Oh, what is that? Oh, can I scan you though from here? Look at that thing! Whoa! No, no, no! Oh, wow, okay, yo, no, 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 no. That, that hurt, that hurt a lot. Back up. We have a uh, med kit, right? Yeah, okay, we're good. I think. That looks like, yes! Okay, that's what we need. That stuff. Oh, this is so scary being down here. Propulsion arm. Get it. I don't know if there's more than one of them or if it's just that one, that lonely leviathan just guarding its area. Oh, there's more down there. I need that. I'm so scared that I'm just going to hear that weird scream again. <laughs> there's nowhere for me to hide. Is that more at the top there? Just hanging out the top of that stuff? Scan it. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this thing takes forever. All right, we got it. Grab that. And... Did I just see it behind it? Maybe, yeah, I think I might have seen this. The crystals in this environment are confusing my senses. And yet I feel certain there is something important below. A facility or a body component. Perhaps both. I cannot tell. Wait! Wait! One of his body parts is here? Oh, no! No, no! Oh, leave me alone! Oh, my God! No! Oh, what? Oh, no! 
okay. No, 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 no. I'm gonna have to get that depth module. I do not know the way out. I know, I know. I know. I'm trying to find a way through so I can get a little bit higher. So let's place the beacon like here. And then I know where I'm coming back to. Nice. So I think what I'm going to do, the plan is go back to our temporary home. And then, or I should just say our home at this point. We've been there for so long. It's not really any kind of base, but it's where we've been living. Go back to our home and then see if we can at least attempt to get in the depth module. And then go a little bit deeper into this place and do a lot more exploring. Whoa. What? Why is that there? Oh, there's one! Oh my god, so you guys didn't just mean the mercury that we found, it's like broken up into pieces. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So what do we have for this one now then? Where is it? Come on. One out of three. Okay, I need two more pieces. Okay, I'm so happy that I know that now. Another site found, but I cannot yet tell whether the others survived. Still, it holds valuable information. I hope you will find more. What is that? The network is indicating more of my people's technology, but the images I am receiving are fragmented, repeating. I am struggling to locate them precisely. Fragmented images? Why would that happen? I can only theorize that the locations are deep and shielded by a refractive material. Perhaps amongst large crystal formations. Oh, that's where we were. That's what he said then about finding his body then. So you can just stumble across it by being an absolute idiot like me. There's another ion cube. Or you can essentially find these artifacts, which then Alan will give you the clues as to where to go and what to look for. What is this though? This is a precursor tool for excavating fossils. And I think it said it there that fossils can be analyzed using carbon dating or other methods to understand what the environmental makeup might have been millions of years ago. That's so cool. So, so, so cool. I'm going to spend a little bit of time around this area, though. If you guys are actually... Oh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Please be a docking one. Oh, yes, okay, I need one more. Okay, so in my defense, what I did there was I went back to the comments because a lot of people... A lot of people were letting me know that I'd been to an area where I can find the actual... Oh, no way, is this the... That's the spiral plant that I needed as well. <laughs> a lot of people were telling me that I've been to or near a location with the Mercury 2 where I can find the thing I'm looking for. And I know you guys were talking about the docking stuff. And that's why I said before, thank you for not spoiling it. But I had no idea. I mean, I should have put it together because the, the Mercury 2 is in pieces, right? There's bits of it everywhere. Look how far down this goes, too. Warning. 30 seconds oh, of you can remaining. actually get to the caves from here. And... Oh, there it is. Sea truck docking module. You guys have no idea how long I've wanted this. <laughs> Let's get this thing. Stay there. Okay, right. Let's go and dock this thing. Oh, I cannot wait for that to be on the back of this seat. It's going to look so good. I'm so mad at myself as well because <laughs> I definitely searched around those purple vents. I just didn't go that far. This isn't going to make any sense, but left, I guess, is where I went. Whoa, look at that. So, wait, what? Can I do one of these? Oh, yes, I can. <laughs> So we got more storage now too? No, no, no. It's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so maybe it gives us a readout of the prawn suit. Okay, that's weird. Where does it attach to though? Is it this? Okay, yeah, I see. So what? Do the arms like kind of fold out and then hold it? Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so they move. And then spin. Oh, no way. Oh, that's so badass. Oh, guys. I know a lot of you guys know this, 
but a dream of mine. If I had all the money in the world, like Elon Musk levels of money, I would build something like this. I genuinely would. Just to go exploring the deep oceans and stuff like that. And oh, it would be so, so, so sick. Okay, we're docked. <laughs> and with that all docked up now, now we can take the prawn suit with its brand new ion batteries and with the Mark II module that I've just made, which gives it 1,100 that it can go down to. So let's go into the prawn suit. Oh, look, this is a beast now. I would love the grappling arm and an upgrade on the thrusters, but I mean, I don't know if I'm going to need it. Probably will, but okay, this thing is exactly what I wanted now. So I'm going to stack up on some more food and water just in case, and then we're heading out. Not good, 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 not good. No! Oh, blindside it, blindside it. Oh, go, go, go! Get in there! Okay, I thought that back there was terrifying. This is way worse. Blood red crystals now. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is so cool, but... <laughs> as far as, like, worrying about dying and stuff, <laughs> it doesn't get much more terrifying than this. We're nearly a thousand meters down with a massive creature on our six or wherever it is. And then we discover this stuff. Am I even going the right way? Oh, I'm so turned around. Let me go this way. There's some kind of tunnel or something. I don't know. Alan, you got to give me something soon, please. I'm so turned around and I have no idea where we're going. I sense the presence of a substantial facility in the area. I'm able to identify. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, leave me alone. Unable to identify. Alan, that's not what I had in mind. Look at this beast. Oh, that's such a cool creature, though. Look at it. It's like a crab mixed with an E. Oh, don't do it. Don't. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Right, we gotta go. We gotta go. Stop marveling at the massive creature that wants to digest you. Just get moving. <laughs> Come on, we gotta. Look at what it. Oh, no. Gotta find my way through this maze of red crystals. Oh, here we go, down here, okay. Oh, leave me alone! Am I gonna have to go in there without the sea truck? I think I might. Okay, let's go, 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 go. And. Oh, we're out, let's go. Come on. This is the fabrication facility where we will construct my next form. We must first locate all the necessary components. You should focus on that. You didn't even know what this place was, but you're telling me what to focus on? I am trying to encourage you. Oh, so we found the skeleton in that sanctuary room, which give us access to be able to make it. Then now we found this place, the skeletal structure of an architect vessel. Oh, what? Architect, is this the bones of an architect? So they do look like that then, that like weird horned creature. A dense synthetic skeletal structure made from unknown alien components. It's estimated that skeletal material would score a 10 on the MOS test for material hardness. It's highly resistant to shattering due to its incredibly strong impact strength. This skeleton is very dense, able to handle heavy forces. A good frame for my new form. Are you okay, Alan? It is not often that I gaze upon the form of a foreign architect. So polyaniline, three diamond, and plasteel ingot. That's not hard to get. So I'm going to leave that one pinned. So we know what we need. Have I got to find more for these ones? 
Okay, some good news and some bad news. The good news is, I found my way out that really creepy red crystal cave area. But now, <laughs> we're back in the really creepy purple crystal cave area. So, <laughs> I think I'm just going to follow a wall and see if that gets me to a point where I can discover something new. I think... What is that? Is that the bottom of one of... Yeah, that's the Leviathan. Alright, I know I can fight them off with the charge, so... Let's just keep hugging this round here. I get it. You're pissed. Oh, leave me alone. Come on. Go, go, go. Oh, that's really going to be a tight squeeze. Can I get through there? Oh, come on. I am never getting this. Oh, nice. Okay. Well, I really hope we've got enough room to turn around, Alan, because <laughs> I'm never getting out of here otherwise. Oh, don't you do it. You I heard one of them exploding fishes. Oh, look at this place. I know I'm not being subtle with this. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Right, let me just see if I can turn this around while I've got the space here. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right. And then I've got the option to go left or right. Let's try and be smart with it. And then, yeah, we can go that way. Or the way we came in. Alright, what have we got? Hello? Nobody's home. It's a weird sound coming from these caves, though. Is that the crystals, like, making that sound? What have we got? something up there. Ooh, that sound is one of those things that it's like the noises that drive people insane. All right, you're not going to do anything, right? Please don't do anything. Whoa. What is that? I can oh, we need this. You will be able to construct bionic organs with the scanned material, both primary and secondary. Our designs provide for redundancies. Given your current location, I think they could still be improved. Your feedback has been noted. This is an architect's organs? Wait, what is this? Oh, this is for the bridge! Oh, of course, I forgot to do that. And then we can use the prawn suit. That's what you guys were telling me for. Okay, so the upgrades that I've just made then weren't for nothing. Nice. Okay. So, creep vine cluster and, a, and four gel sacks. We should have all that. I think. I know I put a little bit of time in to get those gel sacks when I was just exploring around looking for the, uh, the docking module. So, oh, wait, wait. There's the creep vine. I'll take two of them just in case. We only need one, but I've got two of them now. Don't know where my gel sacks are. Oh, there we go. One, two, three, four. We're ready to go. See, it does pay off actually harvesting things when you're around. It's just sometimes it's that one resource that you need. Nice. So we go over to the bridge. I'm hoping the hydraulic thing that we made is enough to get this working again. Because I think we needed to extend it, right? That's what the issue was. Yeah, this thing here. So, oh, actually, you know what? Let's just keep the prawn suit here. And then we'll go out and do this. Oh, we did it, yes. Wait, wait. I don't want anything to break. Do I need to... Oh, extend. There we go. Okay, so the bridge is now connected. Let's get back in the suit. investigating but be careful of what i recall ravenous creatures tunneling beneath the ice oh yeah forgot about those oh. so would that be a leviathan class creature then oh. 
to my body construction nearby. Did that thing just grab a snow stalker off the ground and flick it up into the sky? And also, that definitely answers my question. Are these things Leviathan class? That is massive. All right, let's go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, look at that. So it kind of burrows with its, its horn thing that it's got. And the snow stalkers are running away. I don't blame you guys. Come on. Over here. So Alan is pretty confident that whatever we need is around this area then. Of course it's filled with those things, right? Can we get up here? No, it's just out of reach. What about now? That's a dead one. Look at that. It's, it's had a chunk taken out of it. Oh, please tell me we can scan this. I have to do that. Come on. <laughs> it's going to break my ass every time that happens. Ice worm. Right. Let's... Jump in here and then open it. Ice worm, an extremely large, dangerous leviathan, roughly 95 meters long, with a thick pixelated exoskeleton that burrows through dense ice shelves with minimal resistance. Yeah, look at that. Oh, what? <laughs> Is it gonna get that? Go on, get it. Get it. You're not coming down here. Oh, we just missed it. Look at that thing! Oh, you're so cool! Okay, so, <laughs> after wandering for what felt like an eternity, guys, eventually all I did was just follow this stuff when I came across it. And <laughs> I think we're on the right path now because I just found this. So, let's get out of this. And here we go. Oh, look at this. Wait, is this stuff we can... Large emerald. Wait, we've seen this before, right? In this specific area, though. Yeah. Okay. Pure emerald is typically colorless. These large crystals contain trace amounts of chromium, leading to the development of instinctive green color seen here. Suggests they are valued for applications in architect technology. Okay, so they use this, then. We're not freezing, either, so I can look around. So the architects have put these in the casings. We've seen these before. Wait, how tall were these guys? Look at that table. Yeah, they were giant. Oh, I want to know what all this tech does. Oh, no. <laughs> right, let's find out what we're going to get. Oh, architect component. Ah, that is a rough way to go. Yes, I would not enjoy being crushed while mining iron cube components. The cold preserved the body well, but this isn't a big sample. Will it be enough? Our tissues are pluripotent, derived from the DNA of various species, capable of changing form as necessary. Ah, like stem cells. So what prevents you from, I don't know, ending up with hooves where your eyelashes should go? That does not happen. At least not since the fourth iteration. <laughs> you have scanned all the components we need to make a storage uh, body. Are you excited? Using the chemical compounds available in your body, I am able to approximate what you might call cautious optimism. Wait, so we're ready then? I had no idea this. So this is an architect's body then? It was mining for something, it got crushed. So that's the first sight of an architect, like, actually, well, I guess, fully formed, its arm. <laughs> and then we can imagine with, like, the horns and stuff, and, like, stood up here. So we're ready to build Alan's body then. Let's go to this, and we scroll all the way down. Oh, yeah, we're ready to go. And I have all of that. Oh, no, wait, the root pustule, do I have two of them? I think I only have one. Because I collected one at the beginning thinking it looked like an egg. I should have everything else. So now I guess I've just got to keep going and kind of retrace the way that we went, which was this side last time, wasn't it? I was kind of navigating through this stuff, so we'll try and stick to where we were. This is probably the coolest spot in the game for me. I don't know what it is about it. The sound, the leviathans that are just patrolling this area, and then right on cue, look at that. 
And it's, it's almost like they're guarding that facility. We've seen that kind of behavior before. It's down there, nothing. So we want to aim to the center of this and then towards the bottom, right? Come on, come on. There we go. Leave me alone. Please. <laughs> I think it might be the other side of this. I think this is what I've got to aim for. Either that or it's a little bit further around. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. I actually cannot believe that I found that first try. I really thought I was going to struggle with that. But as I said, dumb luck would have it. <laughs> okay, right. So I'm just going to take an extra water with me and some food. Actually, you know what? Let's just have that now. Eat, eat, eat. Drink everything up. And everything else is ready to build Alan's body with. So let's do this. <laughs> so cool. You said this was the spot where I can make you a body, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Straight to the point, Alan. I like it. Once you have used the fabricator to build each component, we can assemble them. And then we can transfer you out of my head? I am anticipating it as much as you are. Use fabricator, craft. So, Alan, you said your people came here in search of a cure? I was a researcher. You were a scientist? Like me? My people regarded my scientific contributions with particular interest. As I said, like me. If that is your interpretation. So, how did your valuable scientific mind wind up infected? Not my mind, my body. Perhaps you should build the next component. They look so badass. Their faces look like they've got that Spartan armor on it. All right, what's this one? Tissues. So you came here to search for a cure? I led the mission. Does that mean the bacteria got out on your watch? This subject is uncomfortable. If you would like to know more, I will ask that you first construct the final component. Oh, no way. Did he cause something to happen which led to the spread of the bacteria? Or was he just a scientist and he's ashamed that he couldn't finish what they started to, to find the cure? This is the last piece. Soon I will be autonomous again. What will you do with your newfound freedom? I must return home to make amends. Amends? For the bacteria? There seems to be a lot you're not telling me. It is hard for me to find the words. I must collect my thoughts. We have all the necessary components. Whoa. You may initiate body fabrication sequence from the terminal. You still owe me an explanation. I understand. So this chamber here is what's gonna put everything together, the organs, the skin, and skeleton. Oh, here we go. Commence storage medium fabrication. Commencing storage medium fabrication. The escape of the bacteria was an accident. I thought my solution was foolproof. I was wrong. Did you cause the accident? Yes. Oh. I do not wish to speak about it. We can come back to this. No way! Oh, look at him! So how do I transfer his consciousness into that? Wait. Alan? What are you doing? Research. Tit for tat. You've probed my mind. I scan your body. Architect, but look at that! The complete physical architect vessel is a biotechnology and cybernetic hybrid incorporating design elements from more than 20 DNA sources. The outer layer of tissue has the consistency of leather. The tissue is interlaced with the channels of visibly glowing energy, powered by the alien's internal biotechnological heart. Alan has six articulated arms that are suspended around his body by magnetic levitation. These arms contain independent high-speed computing systems and are capable of performing tasks independently. What? The organic arms are considered secondary to the inorganic robot arms. 
These are used for mundane tasks that don't require much fine motor movement. The bottom half of the arms are covered in a biocomposite plating. That's what we saw before when the one was crushed. The plating might serve as a form of armor. It also appears to store latent energy buildups like capacitors. So, they're nowhere near as useful as his other arms that he's using with the magnetic levitation then. The hooved legs are reminiscent of several species of mountain goats. The hooves are covered in microscopic hooks that aid in exploring rough and uneven terrain. The forelegs and the hind legs are oddly close together, which explains why walking might be secondary mode of movement for this architect form. Wait, what? So he levitates then? This architect body is able to teleport or blink short distances. The method is likely a scaled down version of the teleportation gates, but the methodology is not well understood. It is likely that the architect's body is able to provide the massive amount of power necessary for this function. Commencing data transfer. Did it work? Are we... It has been some time since I last stretched out in so many dimensions. Like waking from a dream. <laughs> I want that. I want that so bad. <laughs> Whoa. Hey. You're really not in my head anymore? There are some remnants. Would you like your memories of me removed as No! Well? Are you kidding? No way. You still owe me the end of your story. I told you I must return home. To assess. Repair. Oh, no, don't leave. Recommends. Tell me more. When the bacteria escaped, it was my fault. I disobeyed the directive from my network. Oh, that's what happened. Oh no. What? Oh, that was the blink then. That was the blink that we just read about. That a species of Leviathan young produced an enzyme that is efficient against the bacteria. I thought if we incubated sea dragon eggs, we might expedite their hatching. I was not wrong. But. It would appear that sea dragon parents are stronger and more motivated than our facility was rated to handle. And the bacteria got out affecting everything. How many survived the outbreak back home? Are they still waiting for someone to bring back a cure? I do not know. Can I help? The fact that I withheld this information does not concern you. It was certainly manipulative. And I've also made my own share of mistakes. I'm still committed to helping. I accept your help. Find me at the gate when you are ready. In the meantime, I must prepare. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Oh, wait, we can talk to him? Please. I will join you in the gate base when everything is ready. But for now, I have much to prepare. You cannot expect me to just leave, Alan, when you look this cool. So there's the magnetic levitation arms, and these are kind of the primary arms. And these ones here, that's what we saw under the rock. These take a back seat compared to these ones. The design of this thing is so, so cool. It really is. And he said it was just a body, right? So maybe they have different forms of body that they go through. This is just one iteration or based on what we had for the ingredients. Are you preparing to leave, Alan? Yes. There is much to do. Whoa. Oh, I really don't want him to leave. Oh, that scared the hell out of me then. I thought something was running towards us. I want to know how all of this works. I want you to show me how to build it. Oh, man. I feel like it is coming to an end. You going home, big guy? Do you still wish to leave with me? Be honest, oh. reporter, there is no turning back. Are you kidding? I can't pass up a chance to see where architects come from. Besides, I don't have another ride. I do not know what we will find there. The others may be sick or angry if they live at all. Or you could find peace, family. I hope you are right. 
Please complete any business you still have on this planet. Join me on the other side when you are ready to leave. No way! No way! So we get to go to his homeworld? I honestly really thought that we would just be saying goodbye to him and then we would leave knowing what we know about Sam now. There's no way I get to see an alien planet. Okay, wait, let me think. So, we haven't really seen the jukebox. There's a couple of things that I haven't built. Oh, who am I kidding? You guys know me by now. I have to go through that, right? <laughs> I have to go through that. It doesn't matter what's left, guys. I have to go through that. Oh, I'm going. I have to go. This is it. <gasps> is this it? No. What? Robin, you're just in time. The phase gate is opening. You've been hiding a phase gate here this whole time. Only for the last millennium. It will <laughs> lead us home. No wonder you hid yourself from Altera. It was imperative to keep the home world safe, in hopes that the others survived. Yeah. Will you help me prepare the ship? The energy masks must be moved into place. Oh, hell yes, I can. Oh, no way! Well. This is different. Oh. Look at me now. <laughs> okay. Right, what do you need me to do, Alan? I'm all over it. You need me to move something into place? I got it. Right, I'm guessing it's these things that have fallen over then. Look at that as well. <laughs> what did he say? He's only been hiding this here for, what, half a millennia or something like that? I mean, if Altera got their hands on this tech, you just don't know what they'll do with it. Oh, come on, show me all this cool stuff. Okay, Alan, you're never having this back. No, grab it. There, we got it. Yep, you're never having this back, Alan. These are my arms now. <laughs> Very good. Return to me and I will initiate a ship assembly. <sighs> All right. Thank you. The masts are in place. The energy field is ready. There is no time to lose. I can't believe you took the arms off me, Alan. You have no idea how sad that makes me, you doing that. Okay, right, so... Oh, you doing your thing? <laughs> Is that like a little shuttle or something? If I go get it. Oh, there we go. You don't have to say it twice, Alan. I am on the way. Oh. <laughs> I apologize. The levitator was calibrated for heavier bodies. I would have helped you to your feet, but as you can see, I have been fully integrated with the ship. Is this permanent? Nothing is permanent. Are you ready to go? Yes. I found the answers I was looking for. I'm ready to move on. I can't bring Sam back. But I know she died fighting, and I got to finish her work. I'll always carry her memory. Good. Please brace yourself, and then we will depart. On what? Oh. Launching in three... Two, 
So we're going to the Architect's homeworld now through this phase gate. This is so insane. I never thought that this would happen. I honestly didn't. find when we get there. If I am the last of my kind, I will experience the sorrow of 10,000 souls dimly. I hope he's not. So there we have it guys, Subnautica Below Zero. I can't believe I waited this long to play this. I've really, really enjoyed it. I can't tell you guys how much fun I've had, even just collecting resources to build the cool tech with, not to mention with the addition of Alan and the amazing voice that he has. The storylines that go along with it, we're here to find out about Sam, but then it leads us on a journey to obviously understanding who Alan is, who's a scientist, and I guess is at blame for the Kara getting out on 4546B? But I want to know more. We're now on that home world where there's so many possibilities and I can't wait for the next installment. So for now, this is where we're going to end. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I'll see you all in the next one.